Hello, epic viewers from our multiverse! Prepare to indulge in experiencing sheer bliss, because today, another riveting Captain Ink Stellar unboxing video is about to be brought to fruition. What item will I be unboxing? What item will I be opening? Without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to elicit the box. What item is encompassed inside this bulky, hefty, tangible, nifty box? Let's find out. I'm going to demystify the answer to that inquiry right here, right now, so bear with me. It will only take me billions of picoseconds to extract the item from the box and subsequently flaunt it from the camera for you to feast your glorious eyes on. Here we go, the unboxing process. It's about to commence. The unboxing process is officially underway. What item is obscured by this en by this envelope? Let's find out. The envelope is about to become ravaged. It's been officially dismantled. The envelope can be relegated to the trash. It can be consigned to the trash. What item have I prompted? What item have I drawn forth? What item have I elicited? Let's find out. He's engulfed in a bag. This character is known by the moniker of... Captain Adam. He's a gold variant of the Captain Adam action figure. He's part of the DC Universe Classics action figure line. He was released amid the early 21st century. Unfortunately, the DCUC line is discontinued, so you're going to have to buy him on the second-hand market if you want to procure him. I want to scrutinize him. I want to examine him. I want to see if his nose is chipped. If it is, that would agitate me. Based on what I can discern, the nose is not chipped, so I'm not infuriated. Alrighty, he has high quality paint applications, he has high quality aesthetics, he has a high quality sculpt, I love his hues, I love his deco, I love his textures, I love his shadings, he's an eminently high quality figurine, he's novel, he's robust, he's stellar, he's stupendous, he's quite intricate. He emulates Captain Ma he emulates Captain Adam for the most part, with the exception of the disparate color schemes. Captain Captain Adam has a silver color scheme. This one has a golden color scheme for the most part. So I love the gold and red hues. They tickle my fancy, and um, this figurine appeases me. Why would I deem this figurine to be appealing? Well, he has ample points of articulation, he has high quality shadings, he has high quality hues, he has high quality textures, he has high quality aesthetics, he has a high quality sculpt, he has a diaphragm joint. He can rotate his biceps. He can perform an ab crunch. Unfortunately, he can't rotate his thighs. He can rotate his calves. He can't perform an ankle pivot. So there's no ankle rocker. You can ascend and descend his arms at your own discretion. I love the ball joint in his shoulders. His pelvis is intact. His head is also relegated to a ball joint, so there's latitude for articulation in his head as well. But um, what I love about this figurine personally is that he has two fisted hands, so he seems like he's poised for battle. He has sturdy joints. 
His body is relatively durable. His color variations are unique. They're novel. They're, they're aesthetically appealing. You can rotate his forearms. They rotate in tandem with his biceps. The arms can be moved inwards and outwards. The legs can be extended and then they could also be contracted. You could ascend and descend his legs at any given moment. You shouldn't tamper or fiddle with the joints too much. You don't want to compromise the integrity of the joints. So we just have a robust, novel, intricate figurine. And of course, his sculpt is the same as Captain Adam's. He is Captain Adam, but he's a gold variant instead of the regular silver color schemed Captain a Captain Adam and um, I just find his aesthetics visually appealing I love the red stripes that adorn his body I love the crimson red gloves that he dons I love his stern face. He looks solemn. He looks intimidating. He looks like he's ready to charge into the fray of battle. He's vying for victory. He's heroic. He's astute. He's shrewd. He's audacious. He's mighty. He's potent in melee combat. I believe he can absorb other people's powers, but I'm unsure whether or not he could assimilate other people's powers, so it's great to have a valiant, heroic, noble, stoic action figure on one of my shelves, so I'll flaunt him in front of the camera one final time. He's not marred with scratches, nor dinks, nor dents, nor scuffs. Nothing really impairs his appearance. Of course I prefer the original design. This is a bit more rustic, but um, this design will have to suffice. They both have the same sculpt. They're practically homogeneous to one another, with the exception of their disparate color schemes. So it's always ideal to have the silver Captain Adam, but if you can't afford him then you're better off going for the variant. I recollect paying a grand total of $10 to procure him. I bought him via eBay and um, I'm content with my purchase and decision. I'm jubilant, I'm buoyant, I'm satisfied, I'm gratified, and um, I've no qualms about this purchase and decision. I would have preferred if the joints were slightly tighter. It's okay that he's used. I can't afford to um, buy the other Captain Adam or buy this variant of Captain Adam new for 30 plus dollars. So for um, less than half the price of the default version, this figurine is meritorious. He's a worthwhile, meritorious, stupendous, extraordinary figurine. And um, Mattel deserves their accolades for churning out such a stellar figurine. I believe he was sculpted by the Four Horse and Studios Corporation. Mattel was contracted with them when. Um, releasing DC Universe Classics action figures onto st store shelves, so they have my gratitude. I hope that you found this video to be enthralling and insightful. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.